And this is Dabu7 with an update on Comet Ice. And as you can see, it has survived perihelion, brightened significantly. And you can see where it is situated above the occultic disk here with the sun being the white circle. So it is making its way out. And it does, in most pictures, look like it is fragmented. Now, for people out there looking for Ison and are just dying to see it, well, if you cover the sun, you should be able to see Ison somewhat. Its brightness is a quarter of the size of the sun here. So, you should faintly be able to pick it up. <clears throat> and, sure enough, with photos, with the sun blocked, as you see in this image, right in the same vicinity where Ison should be, there is an object. Now, went back out a couple minutes ago to try to get a western shot as the sun was setting, starting to set, that side of the sky full of chemtrails. Um, no shot there. <clears throat> but when you zoom in on this object right where Ison should be, right where Ison should be above the sun, the ex and the brightest thing in the sky by the sun. If you're going to see anything right now, it should be Ison. This is there. That doesn't look like a comet to me when I zoom all the way in. But it's there. In the same spot where Ison should be. Right in this vicinity. Above the sun. At first glance, I said, hey, we've got Ison. At a closer look, I said, hey, what is this? Let you guys check it out. I'll leave a link so you guys can inspect the, the photo. Till next time, it's been Dabu7, Eyes to the Skies.